Hello everybody, this is Bajee from JK. Welcome on my channel. In this video, we are going to talk about uh, one of the best network tester, Link Runner 82000 from NetScout system. We will talk about price, features, we will uh, review and we will uh, learn how to use and how to test. Hey friends, if you haven't subscribed my channel, please click on the subscribe button, then click on the ring bell button so you can get the latest video notification from my channel. First, let's talk about price. Link Runner 82000, the specific model, price about USA 1750 online. More or less, uh, it also depend on the kit you buy, the one you see in a picture. This kit uh, uh, price is 1750 online. So, in this kit, you will uh, get uh, Link Runner 82000 meter with the rechargeable battery. You will get a charger. Or power adapter with multi plugs you can use in USA, Europe, Asia. It also comes with USB cable, instruction manual, instruction DVD, and you will get a USB ID. Now let's move to mirror. And if you can see, mirror is pretty handy. You can hold with one hand, and the screen is not a touch screen. You have to use buttons to navigate to whatever test you want to make. You can do single test at a time, and you can do multi test just clicking on auto test. And included power over Ethernet, link speed test, duplex settings, switch. You can also check for a DHCP, ping connection, or Ethernet cable test, or many, many more. One of the best features I want to mention about this one, you can uh, configure this mirror according to your need, what kind of test and how you want to appear those tests and how you want to save. And you don't need to feed all the settings by hand. You can use Link Live Cloud. It comes free with this mirror. And if you look around the mirror, there's a couple ports like for Ethernet tester, charging port, and behind the mirror is a battery and it's a rechargeable battery you can replace whenever it go bad. And now we are ready to test and uh, see performance of this mirror. First, I'm going to run single test. I will be testing this Ethernet cable. To test Ethernet cable, I will click one end on the top and uh, other end on on the side. If you read on the side, it say W L A N. So now I'm gonna bring by mirror setting on the Ethernet cable tester and I will just click in a couple seconds it's about like take maybe five seconds it will appear all the information on the screen like it's, it will appear what kind of cable if it's straight cross or uh, what kind of cable if it's cable bad pass fail and also it tells length of how long this cable is So now after we have a test cable and this cable was passed and now we can do the second test. I have a Ethernet connected cable uh, from my computer. I'm going to connect and we will test for single test first if the other end is connected to the switch. And I will uh, bring my setting arrow on the switch test and I will just press enter. It will uh, take a couple seconds. It will give me all the information like if it's connected to the switch which port is connected if there is an IP address it will also tell me the IP address all the information what kind of uh, data like the speed and everything whatever I need to know and uh, now we're gonna go to the multi-test which I will have talked early I can just have a multi-test on one click I will uh, take my I will navigate to auto test and it will appear multi-test on my screen and uh, by navigating from my arrows I can read any setting I want to know so I know have to make a single test each time so what I can do I can just move to my arrow and read one by one and all the tests I make I can store in my USB drive through my mirror or I can also save this information on link live cloud which one is free with this mirror you don't have to pay any extra fees for that one as we made test with this meter was pretty simple to use and you can store all information in your computer by this micro usb port 
uh, USB cables comes back there you can use that USB cable to transfer all information from this meter to your computer and there's also charging port on the same side all the way on the bottom rechargeable battery behind this cover just only one screw you can take it off and replace battery anytime you want and as I maintained earlier this screen is not a touch screen you have to use these all the buttons to make any test you want to or any setting you want to change uh, you know have to be feed all the information by hand you can use link live cloud to configure this mirror that's all for today thank you for watching if you like my video please like share comment and don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching